Hi there, this is Steve. I got a couple of requests to do some things, so I thought I'd do a quick video on commissions and how to set up commissions so you could have uh, uh, net uh, P&Ls, and then also um, how to separate uh, accounts so you could have multiple charts with multiple instruments, but yet separate them somehow. Uh, and I'll show you how to remove it too. And then the last but not least, I'll also show you an ATM strategy tracking method that you could use for filtering and I'll just do a quick uh, tutorial on that hopefully keeping this down to 10 minutes first and foremost a lot of requests on commissions so I want to show you this one um, when you go to tools go to commissions and um, Ninja has defaulted their uh, depending on what you have um, already in here now, you might have different contracts. You might have a different broker altogether. Um, but needless to say is you would have to go put that in here. So what I've done, so like, for instance, this lifetime contract here is what I have. Um, they have pretty much all the instruments in here and fees. Now, I don't know where the fees are. Maybe they're defaulted from their, their web page. I don't know how, long they, how often they get updated. But you could change it. You just double click on it or you could just highlight it and hit edit. Double click is easier for me. And you could change it to uh, $500 for one contract. It's a lot of commission, but you can see it sticks out like a sore thumb. And if you don't want that particular contract, if you don't, you don't trade it, uh, you could actually just remove it. Again, you're doing it from the lifetime um, uh, default. So you don't, you don't probably want to save that. What I've done is I've taken that um, contract themselves, uh, this default basically, and changed the numbers that I wanted, and then I've relabeled it to uh, my commission. So, for instance, if you say you you want to make this one um, again, let's do it. Go with the five hundred dollars, and uh, this one will be um, you know five dollars. I guess would be realistic. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to call this test. You see how it's coming over here. Uh, call that, whoops, that's test. And so now when you go to your test, you have your, your numbers in here. Now in this case, I'm going to remove it. So that's going to be over here on this column. So I'm going to highlight it, and remove, it's gone. Um, but I have my commissions right here. Now what you can do is you could take the default that they use and then um, and then delete everything in here that you don't want but my theory is just leave it in here it's not hurting anything even if you don't trade it um, so once you have that done you have to then go to your account so let's say you want to have your your sim account and you would go to edit and edit the account and end or here under commissions you pick you pick the one that you're looking for um, there's that test one, um, there's my commission. So now it's set, this particular account is set for my commissions for this account, and then you can say yes on it. Um, while we're in here, I guess we'll talk about um, creating, I'm going to blow this up, creating accounts. I have different accounts for different things. Uh, the SIM 101, I believe, is their default. And if um, if you want to be able to track, like for instance, you see I have NQs here. Um, if I just have them all under a SIM account, they're just going to all jump into SIM. Um, and then it's kind of hard to, how do you know which, was it the three minute that triggered or was it, you know, was it the 15 minute that made you get into that one, whatever it is. And you go back to it later at the end of the day, you're not able to figure it out. So there's two ways to do that. One easiest way to do it is just go ahead and go right click and add simulated account. It's going to default to account one, so you could change that to, um, you know, DX if you're trading that, and you can call it, uh, you know, uh, 10 minute chart. Um, and then here's where you would add your commissions if you want your commissions in there, and and go from there and say, and oh, you have to disconnect and connect for it to take an effect, but you could at least stick it on your chart. Uh, but for it to calculate, I think you need to do it now or that DX right here. So, oh, let's say one other thing. Let's go ahead and edit. Let's say you didn't want that much initial money. Let's say you wanted uh, only $5,000 for your SIM account. You could change it there too. Um, 
one might have had to get back. Should have. I think I might have to refresh or something, but I'm not going to worry about that because it will work. In any event, if you want to remove it, you would just right click and say remove account. Now, of course, I'm connected to a simulated data feed, so it's not going to let me I have to disconnect all accounts to get rid of it. But then when you, um, like for instance, here's, let's change this one to, where is that? Well, I just set up DAX right here. So let's put out an order here, and here's the SIM account. Let's put out an order here. And since we're on a simulated data account, I could just go ahead and crank the market up. And uh, actually, that's under uh, your plugin, your connections, and a simulated data feed. If you don't know how to do that, um, it's kind of simple, but I do have a tutorial video on that. Somebody asked me to do that a while ago. So um, let's just, I'll pause it just to make this crank up here and show, show a little bit of money. Okay, I went short on this one, and then I pushed the market up, so this one's going to show negative. This one should show positive. You see here my SIM account, which is this chart here, showing it, but that DAX account, because I didn't uh, disconnect and reconnect, so I'm going to do that right now. I'll pause. Okay, I just disconnected and reconnected, and so now that, that uh, particular one shows up. So I will just close this out. So now you could, at a glance, you know, see for the day where that is. Now, keep in mind one little caveat, though. At the market's close, and my time central is 315, these will zero out. Your balance will stay here. So you can probably do the math, you know, yourself with the calculator. But these numbers will zero out, and so you must take a picture, use your phone, whatever it takes to take these numbers down. Otherwise, you'll come back later on after dinner thinking you're going to log it, and uh, they're going to be zeroed. So, um, that's that one. And I'm not. I'm going to leave this DAX one on only because I don't want to shut it off and turn it back on again. So I'll 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 remove it uh, after the fact. Um, so the other way to do it is to creating. Uh, if you go to trade performance, so it's under the the new window, uh, trade performance, which is actually right here. I'll blow it up. Um, Open it here. My filters. Um, this is what we. Uh, hold on. Where's that? Hold on. Okay. So here, here's our two accounts. So um, just by using your filter, you might have to drag this down a little bit. Um, we'll just unplug that and only select the SIM account. Um, I forget what that was. That was the NQ. So we won't even want to affect that if we take these, that one off because it was the MNQ. So there's our number there. Um, and over here, if we look at the DAX, you're not going to have any MQ. You have to open up the DAX. Oh. Uh, hold on one second. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it was the N. Yeah, it was MQ2. Yeah, LGC, I'm sorry. This one. So it was that one right there. So that's a way to do it that way. But let's say you did not have these accounts, or maybe you have a real account that you're trading live, and you still want a way to um, separate these. Well, you could do that with the templates. And the way to do that is the ATM strategy right here. You could just make a custom one. Which you probably have ATM strategies set up but anyway. Um, well, I'll just make a simple one. One contract, a stop loss of 10. I'll do this quickly. And you can do it whatever you want. Um, and we're going to save this template as um, this is a test template. Okay. And now we're put it, it's it already dumped in there, but you can go select it. But it did it automatically, it's right there. Okay, so now when I say buy, let's get that stop out of the way. Just so, well, we can control the market, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll just make it go up. Okay. Okay, it just hit the target. So I'm going to come over here to this one again. So we have we're still on that account because we're dealing with that one particular chart. Um, 
But sorry about that. You could see how um, now we're up to fifty-five dollars. But that was the two trades. We had forty-six dollars on one, and now this last one was like ten bucks. So um, we're dealing with this one. But how do you find it out? So now here, we that very first one we had no template on, and on this last one we used this temp template. So by selecting the particular template, um, you can see that this particular template which we should have probably labeled, uh, you know, whatever our chart was, whatever we want to use, CL, or, you know, call it what you will. I call mine, my templates, if you noticed, it was uh, the name of the chart. I just labeled them the name of the chart because they might have different settings in there. But needless to say, you come in here. Now, you could all have it all in one account, which we do here, but um, we're using different templates. So you might have two charts uh, under DAX, let's say. Uh, one's a three minute, one's a 10 minute or something. So you would make two separate templates out called DAX 10 minute and DAX, you know, a three minute. And then therefore, if you want them all, you just select all, all templates and you'll get your grand total. But if you wanted only to see the one template of choice, then you would click it that way. Okay, that's pretty much all of it. I think I kept this down to a minimal. If you have any questions, oh, here, let's not forget, YouTube's loaded with commercials now. So here's mine. If you have any questions regarding this or want to see something else, just uh, let me know. You can pause the screen and jot down this information. Feel free to uh, give me a call. Oh, well, don't call me, but give me, you know, give me a Skype or something, and we can go from there. All right. Um, thanks much.